as the country continues to wait for the construction of the standard gauge railway, SGR, that connects Uganda to the East African coastal city of Mombasa for easy transport of cargo meant for both import and export, a remedy to the costly road transport is yet to be found. The construction is estimated to cost approximately $12.8 billion and a distance of 1,724 kilometers. This is the MGR. This was just brought in recently, unlike the other one. I think it was, has been there for long. Just like the bus stop, this was a former train stop. To be sincere, I've never been here before. It's my first time. Era. I don't know. I can go make you go make a new one. I can't go and you are out. Eh, come. Bye. Thank you. So they just said this very railway here, they were using it. Uh, there are people who used to sleep that side of Namboli. So it used to take used to take people up to that side of Namboli. But right now they closed all the offices because they are still upgrading the railway. Take care getting on and off trains. So this is where people used to sit and just here there is passenger train reliable, affordable and timely. For over a decade or so the Kampala Malaba metered gauge railway line had not been given attention. But last year in February the government of Uganda announced to start the rehabilitation of the 301 million dollar Kampala Malaba one meter gauge one railway factor. line. What if I tell you that majority of Ugandans within the age of 15 years below they have never stepped their foot on a train like I mean a passenger train apart from the ones that have been taking people from Kampala to Namambe or Namboli what would you say? So this over here is a, was a former train stop. The offices have been closed because the railway line are being rehabilitated. So when it is fully completed, it's going to reduce transport costs and also the traffic jam on the road. Just right here where I'm standing is so far where the rehabilitation of the old metered gauge railway has so far reached. These people have already rehabilitated over 200 kilometers. So this, the completion of this old meter gauge railway is expected to be done by February this year.
Just imagine when this railway line is completed, it will be taking people from Kampala up to Namambe at just 1,000 shillings. And yet a minibus, commonly known here as taxi, takes people currently at 3,000 Ugandan shillings. This is really going to boost the economy and reduce on the transportation costs. Currently, Uganda relies only on road and air for transportation of cargo. So when this railway line is completed, cargo transportation, the cost is going to reduce by a half of its initial cost. This is short, a little, for us this is a bit raised. <sighs> Maybe that's the difference. So guys, that is it all for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video from the beginning up to the end. Indeed. Uganda is trying, Uganda is moving forward, all I think we should do is to let the world know what's happening. It's a good move because all other countries have been doing it, Kenya is having SGR, Tanzania is having it, it's only Uganda which has been lagging behind but it's good to see that, it's good to see from the ground that such a thing is happening. You see, many of us are here in Kampala, but we don't even know that this kind of thing is happening. But now that, actually, you guys, Ugandans from abroad, or even all of us within Africa or abroad, wherever, it's always good to know what's happening home. That's why we are making this video. It's a good thing. They are doing their best. It's long, you can see. Initially, we all know that Uganda really has been sold, but this gives us hope. At least, even if it is so, it, even if it is sold, let us at least be having cheap transport. You can imagine from Kampala to Namamve, just 1,000, which a taxi cannot take you at that price. This is a good one. Thank you for watching this video from the beginning up to the end. We really appreciate, guys.